Hi Ross, welcome to the Northern Warriors quarantine catch up. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Did you guys have like an in-room workout session this morning? Um, I missed the one this morning, but I did the one yesterday. Yeah. Okay. So and how was it? Got a good sweat on. How do you guys? I mean, I was wondering when I was told you guys have an in-room workout session. How does it work? You do it via Zoom also or a video link? Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's done over Zoom. So obviously the um, the SNC coach just puts us through our paces um, using whatever whatever we can get hold of in our rooms. So mm-hmm. yeah. All right, brilliant. Now, a lot of us have been spending a lot of time in quarantine. I'm sure you also have been spending some time in quarantine and the biosecure bubble. What do you do, Ross, to keep yourself sane, number one, and entertained while in quarantine? Well, I've actually been quite lucky that I've not spent a huge amount compared to, I guess, a lot of other players that have um, been uh, playing cricket around the world over the last sort of 18 months uh, to two years, so. But um, yeah, I mean, uh, Netflix is is one. I think I've, I've watched a, a lot of TV, um, and alongside that, I've I like to get stuck into some puzzles. So I've got my Sudoku really? that I, uh, <laughs> I get stuck into, which is which is good. Um, yeah, it keeps me off my phone and and sort of more sane, shall we say? So, Ross, do you like give yourself a screen time limit that I am not going to exceed exceed in an X number of hours on my screen or on my phone, even when I'm in quarantine? Because I still say I'm guilty of spending almost my entire time on the phone or on a screen while I'm in quarantine. Do you give yourself a limit? I've actually on my phone. I've got like a, an hour's limit per day, which which I've, I've obviously chewed through um, quite quickly. Uh, <laughs> So that's why, you know, I, I went down the route of getting a Sudoku and a, an arrow word to take myself away from it. I think you can, you can get lost in it if you spend too much time uh, on your phone. Absolutely, Ross. Now, Ross, a lot of us have uh, been a part of the biosecure bubble and you hear many sports people, be it cricketers, footballers, golfers, you know, tennis players complain of bubble fatigue. Do you think it's like a real thing? Do you think it can actually take a toll on you physically as well as mentally? Um, I think so. I mean, obviously, from my my sort of small experience here over the last 24, 48 hours, um, you know, I, I can see I can see it really taking its toll over over time. Um, I think you can become quite lazy if you if you're not um, proactive in in trying to keep yourself going. Obviously, sitting around all day it's it's not great for you. So I think you've got to keep the body going as much as you can. And I think obviously as well, stimulating your mind has got to be something that's quite important. Um, you know, you, your thoughts can quite easily drift off into into other areas if you if you've not got anything to keep yourself on track. So it's um, so yeah, I think it, I think it is a real thing, and I think it's an issue that um, you know guys have been dealing with for for quite some time now. But um, you know, big respect for the guys that have spent a huge amount of time in um, in isolation. So yeah, yeah, and hope. All this ends really soon and we can have all our normal lives back soon. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Right, Ross, now I'm going to play a small game with you. It's Would You Rather. Have you played it before? Uh, yes. Some people call it this or that. So whatever, would you rather or this or that. So if you yeah. allow me, I'm going to throw a couple of situations uh, or scenarios at you and I'm going to give you two options and you have to pick your preferred option. So your first one is, would you rather make a TikTok or read a book while in quarantine? Um, I'd rather read a book, I think. <laughs> I'm not really huge on TikTok, so. <laughs> <laughs> I was, most of my guess was right. I did think you looked the sort who would read a book. But are you even on TikTok? I'm not on TikTok. No, my, my social media influence isn't isn't great. I don't think so. <laughs> Have you watched any of David Warner's TikToks? He's uh, he was very active on TikTok during uh, the lockdown. I, I I saw one. I get sent them regularly from from my partner. So um, I've seen a couple um, down the line. She she doesn't send the David Warner ones. They're, they're normally just um, animal ones. But <laughs> no, I have I have seen a couple of his. Yeah. All right. Okay. Okay, let's move on. Your second one is, would you rather do a virtual exercise class or spend the time resting it out? Sorry, I just I missed that one. Would you rather do a virtual exercise class while you're in quarantine 
or spend the time resting or sleeping? Um, that's a tough one, actually. Uh, <laughs> I think for the time being, I'd probably prefer resting. But I think over time, spending a lot of time sat down resting, I'd rather than do a workout. I think I think they become more important. Yeah, at least yeah. you're honest. <laughs> yeah. Uh, moving on, would you rather go without your phone while in quarantine or would you rather go without Netflix while you're quarantining? Um, I'm going to say go without my phone, which is quite controversial because mm. obviously then you can't speak to anyone abroad, but um, only because I think, you know, you can get lost in your phone and it's um, it can be quite toxic at times. And I think Netflix has, has got plenty of things going, so. I think you're probably one of the only few ones in the Northern Warrior franchise that would actually say, I would go without my phone. So that's <laughs> off to you for that. Uh, next up, would you rather cook your own meal for the rest of your quarantine time or have the same meal for the rest of the time that you spend in quarantine? And when I say the same meal, I mean for breakfast, lunch and dinner. So would you rather cook your own meals or would you have something cooked and given to you, but the same meal for Breakfast, lunch, and dinner for all throughout your quarantine. That's actually a tough one because I love cooking. Um, but <clears throat> I think, yeah, probably I'd have the same meals just for ease of <laughs> ease of time. I don't know. <laughs> I love how I love how honest you are, Ross, with everything. <laughs> just so I don't have to choose what meals I have to cook. That's all. <laughs> that can also be a challenge at times. I'm also so yeah. indecisive. When I get like a menu and I have to choose, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Would you rather be quarantined with your least favorite teammate or with a grumpy coach? Uh, wow. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to say teammate because I'll have to, I can try and turn it around. I can try and become. He has least favorite teammate. <laughs> Is that what <laughs> <laughs> but I think, yeah, I think the grumpy coach, that, you know, they're, they're tough ones. Though. They're tough to deal with. <laughs> <laughs> they're very tough to deal with, absolutely. I said, thank you so much. That's uh, That was your Would You Rather. I really enjoyed some of your responses and I hope you enjoyed playing the game with us also. Brilliant. Thank you. Right now, Ross, let's move on. I don't have the best of internet connections, so I'm not going to keep you here for long. But I do want to ask you... What your take on this shorter format of the game, the, the shortest format, it's one of the shortest formats that is currently being played in cricket. So I want to know what your take on this short format is. Do you like it or do you think it's a little too fast paced? Some people, I've heard some people, some experts and gurus say it should not get as short as this. So what's your take on, on this short format? I mean, I've been quite lucky. I've, I've played in um, two, two of these tournaments previously and I absolutely love it. I think um, the added pressure that is, that's put on um, bowlers and also batters is 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 great. You know, it's um, it creates a whole new dynamic to the game. I think um, you know those pressure situations and the way sort of uh, the game can can change so quickly is is like obviously exciting for the for the fans and also for the players involved as well. You never you never really out of the game. So for me, I I, I love it. I think it's um, you know, something that I hope will continue to grow and, and become more apparent um, around the world and, and, and whatever. So, yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a win for me, definitely. And Russ, now you've spoken about the future of the game. I want to know if we see this game being played at an international level. We just had the uh, ICC Men's T20 World Cup being concluded a couple of days ago. So do you see us playing maybe a T10 World Cup in the near future? Um, I don't see why not. I think it's, you know, I, I feel as though um, it, it's going to attract the crowds. You know, you have that excitement. It's over a short period of time. So, um, you know, you, you probably get a lot of support, supporters going there. Um, so, yeah, I think anything that's going to be exciting, fast and, you know, fun, it's, um, it's definitely going to, going to attract the crowds and hopefully, you know, it keeps growing, like I said. Yeah, yeah, let's hope so. Because it is an interesting format. Right, Ross, now I've, I've heard a lot of bowlers complain about this format, saying oh, this game or this format has not much to offer to the bowlers. Would you agree? Uh, well, I think when a bowler only has to bowl two overs, I don't think they've got too much to worry about. I feel as though, um, you know, if they can get, 
if they can get into an over pretty quickly and get a few dot balls, it, the pressure is, I feel it's always on, on the batter. Um, yeah. cause obviously it's a, it's a format where you've got to score. Um, and you know, if the bowler can get a couple of, um, early dot balls or, or just a couple of singles, it, it really does put the pressure back on, on the batter. So, um, I feel as though it's probably more swinging in the bowlers uh, side of things, just because just because of the amount of pressure that there is on to score for the batters. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. true. All right, Ross. And now you've played almost all the formats of the game, right? Mm-hmm. Which one's your favorite? Do you like the longer formats, or fifty overs format, the twenty, the hundred, the ten overs? I mean, I, I love I love the short format of the game. I think um, that's always suited suited my style of cricket. Right, yeah. um, I've always, you know, in, in the T20, I've always batted sort of the back end of the, the innings. So um, the short format of the game is, is sort of perfect for me. So hopefully, you know, what well, I love the T10 because it's it's almost. Um, it almost takes away the first 10 overs, obviously the, the, the T20 and just straight into the death overs. So, um, yeah, I, I really do like it. And I'm obviously very excited to be involved in it again this year. And uh, hopefully we have a successful uh, year as a team again. Yeah, we're hoping for that also. And now as the team looks quite balanced. I was spoke, speaking to the coach earlier and he also seems quite happy by the team. By the way, the team looks, it's got a mix of uh, you know, young talent, you have established players who've played in global leagues across the world. You have good batsmen, good spinners, good pace bowlers. But which particular player from the Northern Warriors outfit are you most excited to be sharing the dressing room with? This is quite an easy one for me. To, uh, I'm re- obviously really excited to to play with Moeen Ali again. Um, obviously, he's a he's been a teammate of mine in the past, and I've I've just recently moved uh, counties back in England, so to continue playing. Uh, with Mo and, and you know, obviously he's, he's come off the back of uh, a very successful um, T20 World Cup, been been named Absolutely. in the uh, team of the tournament. So, you know, I'm I'm really excited to to be playing alongside him again. Definitely, that's sweet, that's lovely. And if we talk about the T10 league on the whole in general, which particular player from any franchise are you really excited to be playing against? Uh, playing against. Oh, um, I mean, all, all the teams are obviously star studded. There's, you know, there's some world, well, obviously world class players throughout uh, all the teams. So I don't think you can pinpoint any specific yeah. team. I think there's going to be some great competition and some great games that are, that are going to come up. So, um, you know, hopefully we're on the right side of those and, and we can lift that trophy again as, as they did last year. As they did last year, yes. Now, Ross, before I let you go, I just have one last question for you. I'm going to ask you to tell us one thing that your fans or followers don't know about you as a person or as a sportsman. What they don't know about me as a, as a person. Or as a sports player, or as a cricketer. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> and something that you can share with us on camera, of course. Oh, that's quite a tough one. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I, I guess as a person outside of outside of sport, I'm I'm really involved in sort of property. I love um, you are renovation. Yeah, renovation side of things. I've I've recently just renovated uh, a house of mine at home, so that's a, a, a huge interest of of mine alongside sport. So yeah, I guess that's something that not many people know. I certainly did not know that, and that's really nice yeah. to know. You're quite versatile. <laughs> Right, Ross, thank you so very much for your time. It was lovely chatting with you. And I hope uh, you also enjoyed this catch up, quarantine catch up with the Northern Warriors. Absolutely. All right. All the best. Looking forward to seeing you. Bye. Thank you. Well, yeah, well, yeah, well, yeah.